All right. Um, following up on my previous video, which I spoke to you about um, the scams that are taking place in Dubai, especially these uh, uh, immigration companies that will promise you the sun, moon and stars. You're going to migrate to Canada, have a new life. You'll get citizenship. Uh, you'll get all the perks and benefits. They'll play on your hopes and dreams and eventually give you nothing. So um, Khalid Shams has come up with an updated uh, uh, statement. Um, the date, yeah, it was published today, 13th August 2024. The title is Wasted Two Years of My Life. More UE expats accuse Canada immigration firm of fraud. Okay, so what they predominantly do is they promise you the sun, moon and stars. Okay, they promise you, oh, you want to go to Canada? Okay, we'll have, you know, the documents and uh, You'll, uh, once we finish all the legal matters, you know, I'm just giving you as a nutshell, you'll go to Canada, you'll start your life, you'll get your work permit, and if you, after you stay five years, you get citizenship, and you'll be uh, happily ever after. So most of the families, uh, especially middle class, uh, Indians, Pakistanis, Sri Lankan, Filipino, the reason why they migrate there is because they're looking for a citizenship. The benefits in their country are not up to the mark or they don't feel very comfortable there or they want their children to settle down okay, and have a better life. Uh, some people generally say that, oh, I want to go to Canada or get a white passport or Canada, US, Australia so that I can travel. But I'll, I can assure you this much. Once you get the citizenship, you're not going to travel. You'll be so busy in your work and your life. You'll just be working, earning, saving, and, you know, you just come tired home. Okay, so the nutshell of this, uh, the summary of this uh, article, okay, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, six points. Uh, it seems that several UAE residents have come forward, um, citing after this report. Uh, clients were promised immigration services. They were given these guarantees. Uh, but you have to make the payment in advance first. So the victims include people from India, Pakistan, Qatar, uh, and they paid amounts of 40,000 dirhams to up to 65,000 dirhams. That's close to, um, let's say, 10 to 15,000 US dollars. Now, you might just say that, oh, it's not very big. But remember, these are families which are not earning very big amounts of money. Okay. And some people obviously have spent much more than that. I personally know of someone who has spent close to 120,000 dirhams. Uh, why, what, you know, private details. Okay. So, um, clients have filed legal, uh, uh, you know, legal cases. Some are afraid even to uh, put up a legal case because even getting the document, even just filing, just an initial document is $500. So, one of them, was uh, even, uh, you know, the victim accused the firm of issuing a fake certificate, a fake document, uh, just to push in the papers. So there are lots of names which are given in this article, lots of people, and it's a really sad situation. See, and I'll tell you why it is sad. The reason is these people don't have money um, and they're going to these people with hope, this company, and now they are, money is stolen, okay, or they got cheated with fake promises. And now they don't have money to, you know, take them to court. Because if they take them to court, once again, they have to spend $10,000 plus. Who has the energy? Who has the time? So many people are saying, okay, made a mistake, forget it. So these companies get away with all this bullshit, especially the owners. I'm, I'm telling you, uh, they should name and shame the owners. They should name and shame this entire company. And the individual who is once named and shamed, he should be blacklisted for the rest of his life. So <coughs> they've given lots of names from one is Christopher, one is ARM from Pakistan, one is Hassan Iqbal, one is Mudassar Ahmed from India. <coughs> then there's an Indian lady, she has not given a name. So I want you to have a look at the article, read it and um, share it with your other friends and family people so that, uh, you know, people don't succeed in doing this. It's a very sad case um, in Dubai where so many things are not regulated. Okay. Yes. And please, like I told you, if someone promises you the sun, moon and stars and they tell you, you know, something is too good to be true. It's generally the case.
Put your comments and thoughts down below. This is me signing off.